Hello, Brother Monroe here with another user scenario. This one by uh, Centurion. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, that's a good start. Right. Um, <laughs> again, a kind of Kaiser Reich uh, scenario, which I, I always enjoy. So, um, British Empire ships with two light cruisers that I must keep alive, which is an interesting twist. And the other twist is I, well, I have a time limit of 50 minutes, Centurion said, but it's easier to remember an hour, so I'm just going to give myself an extra 10 minutes. But I have three battle cruisers. I need to fend off these American cruisers and destroy them before the battleships turn up, which happens in an hour. And it's 1925 tech as well, uh, so a little bit different. Um, now, I've got the battle cruiser 3 or the battle cruiser 5, uh, or in this supposed to be called the symbol class. Um, uh, we'll go for the Battle Cruiser 5, which is the hood hull, which is exceptionally long. Um, we'll go for the best towers we can. And just like hood, I'm going to have the little lifeboat deck there. Um, plenty of funnels. Always need lots of funnels. Uh, unlike Hoover, we're going to go for Magnum and Bulkers. Um, let's see now. Engine capacity. Let's go for uh, oil fire double gate steam turbines, which are balanced. There we go. Um, guns. I'm thinking of a, a hood setup. Why not? 15 inch twins. Yep, very much a hood type layout. Um, second reason. Now we are facing enemy cruisers. Mm, seven inch guns would be useful if I could fit them. No, I could fit like one set there. One set down here, maybe. Yeah, a couple of seven inch dual guns. And is it fives that fit on here? Yeah, some five inch. Doubles as well. Uh, what about three inch guns? Ooh. You never know. Three inch guns just might save the day. <laughs> and I like that they fixed this and you can put them poking out these... Uh, Sort of um, emplacement type things. So that looks that looks that looks good. Um, okay. Now gun setup. We're facing cruisers um, in the main. So I'm going to go with high TNT super heavy shells just to lap away at them with uh, high explosive. Uh, but they still have that fairly nasty penetration. I'm going to go with a coincidence rangefinder and a cheap hydrophone. Armor. Hmm. Four. Uh, we don't want to explode. Thank you very much. With the. Uh, well, what is it without the barbet? 16%. 11%. 9% flash fire chance. 7% flash fire uh, Is there anything else that we can do to get that down? Triple bottom dial doesn't help with that. Really? Flash fire chance that high? 7%? Because of those super heavy shells. Yeah, standards. Lights get it down to 2%. What about chew powder? Super heavies. Five, play seven. 
That's the lowest. I thought it was dew powder. Ten minus ten percent. Yeah, it is. And then lights. Yeah, one percent. <laughs> um. I don't think I can get any lower than that. Uh, anti flood. Uh, we'll get an anti torpedo belt too. Just in case. We'll get an auxiliary engine, a uh, better shaft. And then we're actually going to put some real armor on. So 14 inches and 7. Uh, 2 inch deck extended and a nah, 3.3 deck. And more on the. No. Nah. No, nope, that's it. That's your lot. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna lose half a knot. I don't like it when the ships go at um, have that half knot speed. There we go. That'll work. Right, three. Oof. Right. Fours. As we immediately open fire. Um, where are those light cruisers? Run away. Run. Run. Run away. As fast as you can. Thank you very much. Uh, both of you. Deploy smoke. Oh, okay. You yeah. have. The battle cruisers. Attack. <coughs> oh, one of them is in fact called Hood. That's quite funny. And the Royal Alfred. Okay, let's go. Get a look at HMS Hood. Yeah. Not a historical build. I'll point that out. <laughs> Hood did not have seven inch secondaries, um, the armor scheme isn't right, etc. But uh, quite funny that I've ended up building the hood. <laughs> Americans are heading away from us, which is a bit odd. Yeah, and then those brakes. Get a couple of hits there. A lot of shells going back and forth and nothing hitting, as is standard for this era. <laughs> No radar or anything, of course. That does look quite cool with the three of them like that. That's such a pretty game. It really is. I know, te you know, technically it's, you know, it's not using the RTX ray tracing fancy on the cupboards, but the, the game just makes these beautiful visuals. Really like the, the, the aesthetics of the game. Right, let's turn in a little bit. <laughs> Symbol firing over the uh, bow of the Royal Alfred then. If you're wondering, yes, friendly fire is a thing in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Um, once you fire the shells, it makes no distinction whether they're friend or foe. So if you do do that and you smack it into the superstructure, then that's your own fault. Emmy's almost disappeared. That is weird. That is so weird. 
light cruisers smoking up. Heavy cruisers floating about. Oh well, gives my uh, light cruisers more time to escape. They're way away now. Still need to take these guys out before the uh, enemy battleships arrive. That's at least revealed the fleet to us. Continue uh, firing away. Well, after taking some fire from the enemy, but uh, yeah, not a mildly huge amount. Most being blocked or causing partial pens. Helena, light cruiser, no torpedoes. The Oregon, heavy cruiser, no torpedoes. Okay. So we can blap away pretty happily if they have no torpedoes. We can get in uh, nice and close. Ooh, that was a big hit. We need to chase them off. Sink them. Enemy cause way more hits than we have. 131 plays our 10. There we go. It's more like it. Helena taking a big hit there. And another one. and goes down. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six heavy cruisers, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Good hit. Poor old Brawl Alfred taking absolute hammering here. All from light stuff. It's all, well, there's the odd pen, but most of it is not. It's going to slow her up a little bit. Now, 
Uh, you can slow up too. Don't want to ram the Northampton, just want to sink it, please. Is doing. Oh, still heading away. Good, good. There goes the Rochester. Come on. Come on, Hood. Do some damage, please. Okay, 99, 100%. Uh, that did actually do quite a lot of damage to Northampton. Okay, good, good, good. Right, Royal Alfred is doing fine. The symbol. Firing it over there for some reason. Firing the Oregon, it's right there. Finally getting a big hit on Northampton, although unfortunately on a flooded section. for time. Half an hour. Okay. Oregon's got a damaged rudder, so we might get a contact here. Well, Alfred, definitely taking a, a, a battering the poor thing. Right, fire on the South Dakota, would you please, Hood? That's now the closest ship. Oregon taking some pretty big hits there. Oh my. Taking a thousand hits. That's crazy. All right, down goes the Oregon. Okay, lovely. All right, fire on the Baltimore, please. You too. How's Hood doing? taking uh, quite a few hits there as uh, Symbol and Royal Alfred focus on her. Only standard bulk hits for these. Uh... Right, South Dakota goes down. 
if Hood can finish off the Northampton as well. Down goes the Baltimore. That's good. Definitely reducing the uh, American forces here. Royal Alfred now firing on Northampton as well. I think there's, yeah, just one heavy cruiser left, the Pueblo. Which is now surrounded by uh, enemy ships. Do you absolute mental case? Down goes the quiver. Okay. Right, back to full speed, you two. Let's go uh, hunt those uh, light cruisers. Symbol, don't go into the wreck. Thank you. What is that noise? <laughs> I need to figure out what's uh, doing that. It's probably steam. It's just steam. Oh, Pasadena. No. Bye bye. And last is the Vicksburg. Time left, even to the original 50 minute deadline. Oh, that, that's going to do her in. That right there. Oh my. Down she goes. Oh, yes. Well, there you go. What HMS Hood could really have done? Uh, just using her wrong. <laughs> Getting close, fire at point blank range, what could possibly go wrong? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.